everyone, welcome again, hope everyone is doing great. In this video, we will learn some very basic concepts that is stroke, filling, gradient and opacity. Um, first of all, one update is from now on we are going to use uh, Adobe CS 2019 version. The thing is, if you know the basic tools and they're working, it will not matter what version you are using. But still, from now on, we're going to use CC 2019 version because it's the most updated one and uh, most of people are probably using it. So from file, click on new. Here you can set some width, some height and let's keep it same and click on create. So here, let's zoom out a bit and here is the artboard tool and let's zoom a little bit so you can see more clear. Okay, so now let's uh, first draw a rectangle or a circle. So if you keep on pressing it, you can see more shapes here. And now let's uh, draw a circle this time. If you uh, press on shift and then try to draw it, and then you will see that you will have a perfect circle else if you try to draw it then it will not be a perfect circle you see it will be an ellipse let's first talk about filling so to fill this circle first of all we have to select it and then from top left you can give it any color you want so for now let's give it an orange color so this is basically filling and uh, from right next to this one you can give your shape the outline of any color you want but you see it's not changing it's because first of all you have to select this one so you have to keep this thing in mind that whenever you want to change the filling or the stroke of some shape you first have to select it otherwise it will not change so first I am gonna increase its weight so that, you, uh, so that you can see it and then from here we can change its color so basically the stroke is the outline and filling is the color with which the shape is filled uh, for stroke you can have uh, many different options you just have to click on this stroke from here you can select dashed lines and you can see you have dashed lines outline and there are many other options which you can choose you can set the cap you can set the arrowheads moreover you can also set this one like if i'm just gonna uncheck the dash and now you can see or uh, to make it more visible so you can see we have different options for this stroke so now let's move towards opacity to understand the concept of opacity let's draw two rectangles And let's finish the stroke okay so uh, here is the shortcut if you want to select two objects at the same time then you have to press shift like I'm gonna click on here and then I'm gonna uh, press shift and then click on here and then you can select both of them and I'm gonna change its color to let's this time select red and select both of them and you can also uh, either you can use that shortcut that is shift or you can just select it using this cursor and let's copy it to copy these shapes uh, i'm gonna um, press alt and i'm gonna drag it so this is how we um, copy and do copy pasting in adobe okay so now let's change its opacity to 50 percent all at 53 or oh, I think I should keep it to 68 percent and when I'm gonna place it over this red box then you can see I can still see the red box through it however in this case if I'm gonna place it on red box and you can see I can't see the red uh, box to orange box so basically we can say that we have turned some solid to a glass using this opacity tool 
So now let's uh, finally talk about gradients. Though I only use gradients for backgrounds, but it is a very important tool as you can uh, give your things a realistic touch using this tool. So to understand how this tool works, let's draw a rectangle. A little bigger this time. And from window, you can go to gradient. I'm going to have it radial. I'm going to change its color to somewhat less gray, lighter gray. Like this. So you can see instead of white background, so now I have somewhat a gradient background and it's looking more good and more professional than simple straight white background. We learned how to give a shape, some filling, some stroke, uh, we learned about opacity and uh, gradient. So uh, these are some very basic tools of Adobe. Um, you might be thinking that uh, why and where your guys are going to use these tools. So uh, don't worry, we're going to make an awesome project using these very simple and basic tools. So till then, keep watching.